we are going to be cutting two massive holes in the side of the van so I can finally install some windows. Come on, baby. Smooth like a baby's bottom, man. Very good in there. All right, mate, come and get your ice cream. What's happened here? You said it was square, and it's not square. Welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome to yet another video on the van build. Today is a very very important big day in getting this van into some kind of camper van. So we're going to be sticking two windows in, one on the driver's side and also one on the opposite side. I also have some windows for the back however I've not still decided yet if I want these two to be windows at the back because I quite like the idea of it being a bit more private so i think just the two main side windows and uh, i'll decide in a future date if i want to install back ones or not so these are the windows that i've got to go on the sides they are sliding windows i probably won't be able to show you right now because i need to put them up but they slide halfway across they are tempered glass and i think they're tinted as well or i don't think i know they're tinted so uh, these should look really nice and really transform the van so I picked up these windows from a company called VGC, Vehicle Glass Company, and uh, a massive thank you to them because, let me tell you, camper van windows are in such high demand at the moment that everything is taking a long, long time to arrive. I'll leave a link in the description to VGC where I got the windows, and you can go and check it out because they've got windows for all types of vans, and Paul, the guy running the business, is very helpful and uh, yeah, makes it very easy to know exactly what windows you need to get. So what actually comes with the window is obviously the glass, and then some rubber gloves in this box, some primer, I believe this is, which I need to put on the other side of this. Don't wanna scratch it. Some wipes as well to give everything a good clean. And then this is the bonding sealant, which you need to put a thick layer of adhesive on to obviously make sure that it's stuck properly. And also it comes with some trimming, which once I've cut the hole, I'll put around the edge. I also went and bought some suction cups this morning, just because it's gonna make it a lot easier to hold in place. These were only about seven pounds from Screwfix, so 14 pound for the two of them, but it's gonna make the process a lot easier rather than having to hold it either side with my hands. There's quite a few different ways to install these windows, but I think what I'm gonna do is create a cardboard template of the inside of the glass just to be doubly safe and make sure my measurements are correct and then I can obviously offer it up onto the uh, onto the van and then make sure everything's lined up before I cut I cannot reiterate this enough. Measure, 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 and measure. So as you can see, what I've done is cut a cardboard template, and then also to make double sure my measurements are correct, I've decided to draw it on the van by taking the measurements from this edge to the inside lip here, this edge to the inside lip here, and vice versa all the way around and then transferring that onto the van. So this really is a safe, secure way to make sure that my measurements are correct. I'm saying that now, but I haven't cut the window yet. So the next process is gonna to be to drill a hole through each corner and then we'll get the jigsaw out and get this hole cut. I'm just gonna take this pot of wood filler and again, mark out the corners so that I get the nice round curve of the window. I think it's time to grow a pair and put some holes in this van. I've got a 10 mil metal drill bit on the end. We're gonna drill a few holes in each corner and probably a couple in the middle so then I can get the jigsaw in and cut the shape out. 
Touch wood. Wish me luck. Let's do this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You'll be glad to know I finally invested in some protective glasses. Come on, baby. <laughs> I've also gone and picked up this morning some Bosch uh, metal jigsaw blades just to get a nice clean cut. I don't actually know how you put this in here. A few moments later. It really starts to jump around once you cut a few edges, so I don't know if trying to apply more pressure makes the panel stop moving as much, but two sides are cut, so we'll do the rest and hopefully it should fit in. The camera is so much better, isn't it? I've just got bloody metal shard in my eye. Only put in there. <laughs> Might be worth getting some wider goggles. Because you don't want to go blind. Just cutting this last top piece, but to try and stop the window shaking so much, I've just got some duct tape because it's a lot stronger than this masking tape. So hopefully that should make it a little bit easier to cut because it is moving like this. Oh, it. I just cut my finger open. On what? Some metal bit. Really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. No, it <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna collapse. <laughs> Should have done it alone. <laughs> my drink. Oh my god. Oh man. Don't do your window like this. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Oh god. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> right, got the suction cups on. Make sure they're on properly because I didn't put them on properly earlier. This is going to be the first dry fit to see if the window fits. My glasses are coming off. <clears throat> that looks not bad at all to me. Can you go and check the other side, please? How's that looking? Yeah, uh, look, it's pretty good around the edges. Does something go on the inside, just tidy it up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, mate, come and get your ice cream. Look at the state of this. <laughs> right, just gonna take a file and file around all the edges so that people like my cameraman don't cut their fingers. Smooth like a baby's bottom, man. What I'm gonna do now is just grab some of that Seeker Flex, like I keep using, and just try and bond this piece of metal to this one here, because you can see at the top it's quite strong, but at the bottom here, it's quite loose. So just in here, I can actually see the old adhesive which was used to join these together. I don't know if what I'm doing is correct, but you can imagine that when I'm driving, this is gonna be rattling all over the place. So I'm gonna cut the old adhesive out and then stick in some new one and clamp this so it's nice and tight. Here we go. This is the old adhesive that was doing absolutely nothing. Whilst I wait for the glue to dry on the first window, we're gonna make a start on the second one, get that cut out and then hopefully when we come back it should be dry and we can actually try and fit it. But I won't show you the entire process of this second window because it's exactly the same, obviously, as the one I've just done. Measure things up, cut it out, mark it up onto the van, check the template fits, and then happy days. This absolutely 
gets you. Oh, it burns as well once it hits you. Metal shards everywhere. Okay, the last top piece. The next job, now this glue has dried on the first window that we cut out. It comes with this ceiling, this rubber ceiling, which goes around the edge of the window. So I'm gonna to start to apply that, as that is the next process in getting this window fitted. I'm gonna cut off a little bit extra than I need, just so that it's nice and tight. I don't know if this is something you're supposed to do, but this edging trim can be a bit loose. So I'm just taking some pliers because there's metal inside of here as well as rubber. And I'm just kind of crimping it down to the metal work of the van because then it just sits a bit tighter. Don't know if you're meant to do that. It just makes sense to do it. Master of the keys. I'll untangle it first. <laughs> Here comes the moment of truth. I'm putting the rubber gloves on because I'm gonna to start to bond and clean the outside glass of the window so that I can get it stuck on. So inside this box just comes some alcohol wipes. So I'm just gonna clean the outside first and then add the primer and then the glue. All right, that, oh, that smells fresh. Might get a bit high very soon, but this is nice and clean now. So then add the primer, I believe. This is the primer. No idea what primer actually is. I think it just gets the uh, material ready for the glue. And apparently you want to put this on in uh, one continuous stroke. So you don't want any gaps. The window is primed. So we're ready to apply this stuff which is the adhesive apparently you want to uh, put it in a nice thick bead all around the window because we don't want any leaks coming through in a week's time fucking hell <laughs> what's just happened there don't squirt it there bit wonky mate <laughs> <laughs> how do i not make it wonky let me turn it round. oh my god i feel like i'm gonna run out Come on, give me enough to get round, please. There we go. Let's get this top bit in first. Push up, up. Yeah? And let me line it here. Push. We don't want any leaks. Does anybody know if there's meant to be some play in it? Some yeah. movement? There seems to be a bit of a gap when you try and kind of push the glass on the slight curvature of the door. Oh. The first window is on. This is what I'm slightly concerned about. There's a bit of a gap here, but I don't really know what you do to close that gap. Oh. Are all windows like that or not? Because surely if the rain comes in, it's just gonna fall in here. Oh God, I really hope, because there's still movement on that but there's nothing else I could have done. Whatever you do, do not get primer on your van like I've just done. Luckily you've got a handyman like me. Get that square you were scoring, that line. Are you on the line? No. Yeah. What's happened here? You said it was square, it's not square. What? You said it was square. These windows have completely transformed, obviously, the way the van looks. Now it kind of looks like a camper van, which is bloody fantastic. I've got both windows sliding either side. This one is actually a little bit stiff. Oh, I can't do that one-handed. Oh. So, 
if anybody knows how to uh, loosen up this window so it's not so stiff please do let me know you know what honestly this was a job where i was pretty nervous about doing it myself because i've never done anything like this before but it just goes to show you with a bit of research finding a bit of information online and watching plenty of youtube videos if i can install windows then trust me so can you very soon i'm going to take this van on a mini basic road trip as it is now there's just one last job that i want to do which is to get the fan installed which hopefully i'll do tomorrow if you're enjoying the van build series please make sure to give the video a like please make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel because it's not just about van build van build van build I can assure you when this is finished, or not even when this van is finished, we're going to be going on some big adventures very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. That's awkward, isn't it?